how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be your love reading um, for singles, June 2021. If you haven't watched one of my singles readings before, what I do is pull two separate energies, two different people you could be dealing with in June in love. If one or both looks like a viable option, then I will also pull an outcome for you guys. And at the end of the reading, as with every reading that I do, I will answer a yes or no question for you guys. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so that I can answer that for you when we get to the end. All right. Let's see what we have so far. First person out, we have Cancer with the Four of Cups, Libra with the Three of Swords, and the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person here, um, they're having a hard time approaching you or figuring out what they wanna do about you whether this is somebody that you're into and they know it or somebody that is into you but not really taking any action, they, they're they not really taking any action because they are, they're still heartbroken over something that happened. Whether this is somebody that you know and you guys have had issues or if they just have their heart broken by somebody else and they're not over it yet, it's causing them to be like indifferent as far as love and emotion and uh, not really making any moves towards anything real. But there is going to be a conversation where they are going to open up, they are going to come clean, and there is going to be a new beginning, right? With the Ace of Swords. That's like an epiphany. So let's see what that is. If they kind of get over whatever this stuck feeling is that they have. What is this Ace of Swords? What is this conversation going to be about? What is this? The King of Coins. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I think that's just a new beginning that that they're going to come to you with, right? But I think it's going to be a little while because they are still getting over something. But they are going to come towards you wanting this whole commitment here with the King of Pentacles. That is fully committed energy. It's dependable. It's reliable, committed, loyal, all that good stuff, okay? Let's get an outcome should you choose to deal with that person. It's, it's kind of going to be up to whether or not you want to wait around for them to get their shit together, basically. Uh, yeah, and the outcome is the Eight of Cups. So it looks like I think you're just going to walk away from them. I think by the time they come in and want a commitment, you're going to be over it. You're going to already be gone. That's what I think is going to happen. All right, this other person over here, uh, past person, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. I don't like to hear about my exes. I assume that you don't either. But if you do, well, here it is. All right, Six of Cups, past energy. Scorpio past soulmate energy, 10 of cups reverse. This is somebody that you used to have a whole relationship with. You might even have kids with them. Um, but that is that, that breakup energy. That's when it happened. They're still thinking about you. They're still missing you. But with the seven of swords here, they're lying about something. They're trying to be sneaky. They're trying to get away with something. It might even be an ex that is in another relationship and lying about it. But let's see. What is the Seven of Swords here? What is the Seven of Swords for this person? What is this person being shady about when it comes to Aquarius? What is the Seven of Swords? The Hermit reversed Virgo energy. Hmm. Okay, I, I think that they might just be lying about, okay, so if they, if this is an ex, right, you broke up with them however long ago, and they come back being like, I've had time to think, you know, I really took, a, took the time to think and figure out what it is that I want here. I don't think they did. I think they're full of shit. I don't think they thought about anything. I think that they just don't want to lose. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about it. Let's get another one. Why is this Ten of Cups reversed here? Why did the breakup happen? Queen of Wands reversed. Somebody was probably cheating. Somebody was probably controlling, demanding, spoiled brat energy. And it, it can also be other woman energy, okay? I'm not even going to get an outcome for them because I don't like to... I don't like to encourage anybody to deal with any exes, especially one that's fucking lying, you know? All right, Aquarius. So let's get your yes or no question. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Focus on your question. OK. 
Okay, Aquarius, yes or no for my Aquarius friends? Yes or no? That is a yes with the Ten of Swords reversed. All right, I love you guys. Take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow.